On day one of my mission to save Carmine's Chianti Cow, owners Keith and Lisa have sunk everything into their restaurant. They're out of money and almost out of time, and Restaurant Impossible is their last hope. Let's get to work. So obviously the drive up here is uh, secluded. There's not very many houses, but here's the first confusing thing. On the sign, it says the Chianti Cow Restaurant, and up here it says Carmine's Restaurant. Which is it? Confusing straight away. It just seems when I walk in the door that it's old. The floor is old. You can see all the corners have started to break here. When I look here, it just looks like, why would I come here? Keith, Lisa, come in, in the restaurant, please. How are you? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Robert, how are you? Nice to meet you. Take a seat. OK. So tell me about the restaurant itself. In the first three or four years, we were, we were making money hand over fist. But then that housing market crashed. We've had hurricanes, we've had troubles, we've had damages and lots of repairs. And then what's the number one thing they say for restaurants? Location, location, location. Okay, all right. You're in the middle of nowhere, but that road is busy constantly. Last year, what revenue did you make? Uh, 190,000. How much did it cost you to make $190,000? Probably a lot more than that. <laughs> what do you mean, probably a lot more than that? I'm not even sure. Who does financials? I do them do? when I can't, yeah, into it. OK, what's the debt of the restaurant? So probably about 500,000. 500K, right? OK, where does that come from? Break that down for me. Uh, what's your food cost? I don't know. What's your payroll? Um. All right, stop for a second. Relax. Okay. All right, because if you can't give me the answers, I can't help you. Okay. All right? I, I can't think straight right now. I'm sorry. I'm really nervous. So why are you really nervous? Because you're Robert Irvine and you're sitting in front of me asking me but questions. I, but I'm trying to help you, right? I know so, you are. So Robert Irvine can only help you. More if... than you can imagine. You should know everything about the finances every day. That's your job if you're here. And you should communicate that. You can be a number of 500,000. I don't even know if it's 500,000. I mean, this doesn't mean anything. You have a choice. You either do this or you close your doors. I wouldn't have you here, and I would trust me, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think you could help us. All right, I'm going to do a service. Whatever you normally do, I'm just going to simply watch. Then I'll try the food afterwards. All right, go get yourself ready. Thank you. Thank you. I want to see how Keith and his staff handle service on a busy night. Oh, right so here. I invited 60 people for dinner. Chris, go get some sushi rice and have it hot. First ticket, seafood disc, here we go. I'm gonna just take these away from you guys for a second. Caesar salad. We just finished. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six servers, they're all blind and clueless. I'm in Greenville, New York, observing the service at Carmine's Chianti Cow restaurant, and so far, it's total chaos. But at least I see Keith moving. He's got some energy, which is better than I saw this morning. I look at the kitchen. There's no system. There's no nothing. We're literally flying by the seat of our pants. If you're going to run a restaurant that has a reputation of being excellent, then you have to lead, and we don't have one leader. Can Keith lock it in? I don't know if that's possible right now. I really don't. If he doesn't, it's never going to work. Never. I have the signature steak. I have the au pois. The veal marsala. I've got the scallop special for you as well. As rough as the service went, I hope at least he likes some of the dishes. I hope he likes more. Keith! Take a seat. All right, the steak is cooked nicely. Masala. I got a mouthful of this, just flour. Tastes like wallpaper paste. 
All right, scallops are not even said correctly. Who cooked the scallops? I did. Overcooked. Rubbery. So, whose menu is this? It's a combination. When I first got in here, I didn't want to blow anybody out of the water and totally just switch it and change it. I was trying to reach uh, a lot of different palates. You know, I get what you're saying. I hear big menu a lot. Think about that, because it's got to be you. It's got to be your food, because you're the mojo maker. OK? Cool, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. He's a CIA-trained chef. He knows how to cook. We just got to drag it out of him instead of that depressing kind of piece that he's got right now. I'm going to get Tom and Tiny in to talk about my thoughts on the restaurant. Then we'll get it emptied, and then we'll get going. He was a little behind schedule, but they have a good plan in place. Now I need to talk to Lisa about what she thinks is going on with Keith. What, what do you see him getting excited about, if anything? He does love doing things with the freshest of ingredients. It does, but it kind of it contradicts what he's doing. Right. And that's the problem I'm having. Right. It's like... He tries to please everyone. I just wish that he could do his own thing and be happy with it. Do his own thing and be happy. <laughs> My mind is working uh -oh. right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Go on. Look at this. Look at the colors. They're perfect. Perfect. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I want you to pick whatever you want, because you're going to create a steak dish tonight with whatever you have in here. You build it. They will come. They will come. This is like the field of dreams. Just tell me what you're thinking. Pan roasted root vegetables. OK. Roasted garlic mash. OK. First in shallot red wine sauce. This is great to be able to have something like this available. It's crazy to me that Keith has been so tied to Carmine's old menu that he completely lost sight of this incredible local produce. I definitely lost a little bit of the will to keep moving forward, but now we're ready for a new beginning. I'm glad to see that these fresh vegetables are inspiring him. Oh, these are pretty oh. strong. Oh, I smell some corn. Robert's uh, very, very passionate. He's like a kid in the candy store and the vegetables. I, I understand his excitement. It inspires me. It'll be fun when we get in the kitchen, we put it all together. You know what I think, the farm to table? Mm -hmm. It should be on a big scale. That's what's going to make you successful. Build that. it, they will come. Right? To see his change in demeanor, it means he's grasping it. He's actually getting what I'm trying to ask him to do. Keith will create food that he's proud of, and it will be amazing. <laughs> I decided we'd, we'd take a New York strip steak, good sear on each side, and we'd uh, saute some locally grown leeks, a little bit of browning on it. Oh, there it. you go. That's nice. Some pan-roasted vegetables. Yep. And steak. Gonna give it a slice across. Green peppercorn or pop sauce. Okay. Curly fried onions, a little bit of a, a crunch on top. Your dish, you get the first cut. Do all right? I'm just loving the vegetables. Steak is cooked beautifully. What would you sell that for? $28.95. 28 That's a good plate of food for 28 bucks. I've seen a complete transformation in, in you that I think is, is pretty awesome. What is the difference? You know what? At a farm, that, that, that did it. That was perfect. That was awesome. I need you to lead now. I don't want the old Keith back. I want this Keith. <laughs> Good. All right. You need that every once in a while. Listen, tonight, come here. We're going to kill it. I'm going to check him in my design scene, get cleaned up. See you in a minute. Still a lot to do. Floor's got to be finished. Everything has to be dusted, squared, table set. You can only start with one table, and you have to move the table based on the chairs, right? I normally aim for 6 o'clock. It's probably going to take me another hour to finish before we can even think about people walking through the door. It's going to be tough. Hey. Hi. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. OK, close your eyes. I'm going to take you first. If you just walk this way. No, walk forward, walk forward. So I know it's been a, a, a tough journey. Are you ready to see the brand new Chianti Cow? 
Ready? I can't hear you! Where I'm ready! ready! Open your eyes. Holy <laughs> cow! Oh, oh my god. There isn't anything that looks the same. I was gonna hug her first. You were coming. No, no, no. Oh my <laughs> god. What are you thinking right now? I cannot believe this. It doesn't look like the same restaurant. It's amazing. Holy. It is amazing. Cow. We'll stick with cow. <laughs> These are the original tables, just so you know. Yeah. So we took them wow. all the way back. New bases. Oh, a lot lighter. Brand new floor. Enlightening. I just can't, yeah. Just throw it right off. This is awesome. I think we got the old Keith back. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm not as worried it wouldn't still feel like us. Oh my god, this is so us. It still it feels like us. us. I'm challenging you to be great because that's the only way this restaurant's going to be great. Won't let them in. Everybody ready to come in? Yeah. Come on in. We're so excited. Come on in. Come on. Thank you. Beautiful. The restaurant looks phenomenal. You guys can do very well. This is spectacular. The theme we're gonna get free. My guys are the same thing. Perfect. The customers are seated, the drinks have been served. Now it's time to see if Keith can execute the new menu. Two steaks in a window. That's another one down. Nice. Nice. Who can run? Hey, she can. Who can run? Kaylee, you're going to table 10, okay? One burger. Just so nice to stand back and watch Keith. When I came yesterday, it was pandemonium in the restaurant. Couldn't get food out. Now food is flying out the kitchen. We've got runners helping each other. They're working as teams. Keith, am I seeing you smile? Keith did a great job with a new menu, but the ultimate test is how the food tastes. Mm. Cooked to perfection. It is absolutely delicious. A lot of flavor. You can definitely tell it's made with fresh ingredients. It's juicy. Very good. Now we come back. Just to see everybody's faces as they were coming in, that says it all. It's a, the start of a new beginning. There's nothing but up from here. I can't, can't wait. It's just amazing. When I got here, Keith was living in Carmine's shadow. Now he is the leader who gets excited about being in the kitchen. Chianti Cow has fresh looking food, fresh new look, and Keith and Lisa are shining bright stars in a restaurant that finally they can call their own. <laughs> Thank you. <웃음> 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 <웃음>